Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. You can now use the promo code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena Games video. Today we're taking a look at another historic deck, this one titled Arisen Rites, as we're playing a Dragon Reanimator deck featuring Bladewing the Risen, the 7 mana 4 4 legendary zombie dragon with flying, and when Bladewing enters the battlefield, we can return target the dragon permanent card from our graveyard to the battlefield, and for a black and a red, dragon creatures get plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Now we're not that interested in just reanimating Bladewing and attacking with it a few times. Instead, this is an infinite combo deck essentially, as we're playing with Bastion of Remembrance, a 3 man enchantment saying when Bastion of Remembrance enters battlefield, we get to make a 1 1 human soldier creature token. But whenever a creature we control dies, each opponent loses one life and we gain one life. Now we had similar effects like this before, we could play Cruel Celebrant or maybe Corpse Knight to get a vaguely similar effect. But instead now we get Bastion of Remembrance, which is an enchantment which is much more difficult for the opponent to remove. And what happens next is if we reanimate Bladewing the Risen with another copy of Bladewing in the graveyard. Since they are both legendary, we can't have both in play at the same time. So one of them ends up in the graveyard, so it dies, so it triggers Bastion of Remembrance. And then the original Bladewing the Risen that we reanimated can return the Bladewing that just died from the graveyard to the battlefield, which will again enter with its Enter the Battlefield ability, reanimating one of the blade wings that we sacrificed to the legendary rule and that's basically an infinite loop and with bastion of remembrance in play we will drain the opponent for one life for each time that we go through the loop and that's basically how this deck aims to win the game now of course we do have a backup plan of also reanimating a dracoseth maw of flames which can also win us the game as a 7-7 flying legendary dragon that deals four three and three damage to three different targets when he attacks so that's also a nice one to potentially get back with Bladewing the Risen's ability if we have both in the graveyard. And then how does this deck reanimate creatures? We've got Unburial Rites as a 5 mana sorcery, but we can also flash it back from the graveyard for 3 and a white, so we can even discard Unburial Rites or mill it with our various effects, and then still make use of it, since we usually only need to use it once in each game. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck, we also have a bit of removal to make sure we can stay alive against aggressive decks, with two copies of Justice Strike, which is especially spicy against Phyrexian Obliterator decks, as the Obliterator, when it deals damage to itself, the opponent will have to sacrifice five permanents, so that can win us the game on the spot. We've got Deafening Clarion as a three mana sweeper, and then Kaya's Wrath as a four mana sweeper. Could easily experiment with other four mana sweepers, and then you can kind of adjust the mana base accordingly. By playing Kaya's Wrath, we do need more white sources in the deck, otherwise we could get away with fewer. Maybe play Ritual of Soot, Storm's Wrath. So there's a lot of options in the 4-mana sweeper slot. And another nice inclusion is Kalia Zenith Seeker as a 3-mana 3-3 three, three, legendary human cleric with flying and vigilance. And when Kalia enters the battlefield, we can look at the top 6 cards of our library, reveal an angel, demon or dragon card from among them and put it into our hand. So only dragons in this deck but uh, very useful at helping us find Bladewing to assemble the three card combo and also just gives us a nice body to attack and block with. And then the rest of the deck is mostly ways of filling the graveyard. We've got Stitcher Supplier as a one mana one one that when it enters a battlefield or dies, mills the top three cards. I can now officially use the word mill as an actual keyword in the game with the upcoming M21 set, so that's pretty exciting. And then at two mana, we've got Cathartic Reunion to discard two cards from our hand and draw three. So we can discard those Blade Wings and Dracoseths and even Unburial Rites we don't mind discarding. And Thrill of Possibility discards one to draw two. So yeah, pretty straightforward deck. I'll be playing this in the Historic Shakeup event just to maybe face some more interesting decks along the way, but I've played it plenty in normal Historic and been able to win some games too. Uh, quickly going over the mana base, again you could adjust it if you adjust the sweeper at 4 mana and if you want to change some of the cards around, but we've got 4 of the Savai Triomes alongside uh, most of the shock lands here with Godless Shrine, Blood Crypt and two Sacred Foundries, and then four Clifftop Retreat, two Dragon Skull Summits, and two Isolated Chapels, and then two Basics, just in case we are facing Ghost Quarters or Field of Ruins. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw, with a fine opening hands, double Supplier, Cathartic can discard some lands if we don't need them. Hope to mill Bladewing. Dracoseth is also a fine one to reanimate. Priest of Forgotten Gods. That's not too bad. 
So I guess we'll supply our first here. Give me an extra turn to maybe draw something I want to discard to Reunion. Might end up cycling Triome, it's pretty unlikely, but I guess I'll just play Blood Crypt for now. Supplier, good sacrifice fodder for Priest of Forgotten Gods. Alright, another Blade Wing I can discard. And then probably get rid of Blood Crypts. And then I'm just hoping to draw Bastion so we can combo off. Got the two Blade Wings and a Dracoseth, so I guess I could also just reanimate Blade Wing, get back a Dracoseth. Even if it's not the infinite combo, it's still pretty good. So our opponent on Jun's sacrifice is gonna claim our supplier. So if the supplier dies, it's not actually going to mill me, but it's gonna mill the opponent. Suppose I could have chumped with the supplier since I'm gonna end up losing it here anyway. Didn't think the three damage is gonna matter too much. Alright, Bastion goes to the graveyard, so how many do I have left in the deck? Only two. Alright, I guess we just get back Risen here. And then we can sacrifice Bladewing to the priests, and hopefully Dracoseth survives and we can take over the game with it. An actual act of treason would be pretty bad for me here. So hopefully they just have claimed the firstborn, which can't steal my dragons. Mayhem Devil. Okay. And another trail. So maybe they can kill Bladewing with damage from Mayhem Devil and then make me sacrifice Dracoseth to the priests. Strider sacks familiar, deals one to Bladewing. Can sack Strider and familiar to the priests. And then two damage from Mayhem Devil resolves before the priest trigger. And then we have to sacrifice Dracoseth. Alright, so that worked out pretty nicely for them. Next turn I could Unburial Rites once again, but yeah, with two priests in play now. I'm gonna probably end up losing both creatures again. Although our opponent is out of food, so it's probably still my best bet. Opponent's got two cards in hand, only one black mana, so no escaping Wistrider. And no food to bring back the Cauldron Familiar. Alright, and our opponent concedes. Dracoseth next turn was gonna attack, take out all their creatures, and take over the game. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty nice hand. 
having Bastion means we're more likely to be able to combo since that's kind of a unique card that's much more difficult to find than Bladewing since Bladewing we can find with Kalia. So facing Mountain probably want to hold on to Clarion for now. So I don't have two cards I actively want to discard so I'll probably Thrill instead of Reunion for now. Alright so the Cycling deck Probably discard one Kalia here. Hmm, did not find a land yet. Alright, there we go. Could play Kalia, could play Bastion. If I play Kalia and hit Bladewing, then I can feel free to discard it to the Reunion, so that's kind of nice. And on Burial Rites, we also don't mind discarding. Alright, Dracoseth will do too. The Cycling deck usually doesn't have much removal outside of Zenith Flare and maybe a Go for Blood. So getting back a 7-7 seven, seven could be good enough. Yeah, I'll trade. And then I could Thrill again. Sure. So currently four Cyclers in Graveyard. Doesn't look like they're gonna get to seven until uh, it's too late. Take five. There's Bladewing, but I think the plan is still to get back and drunk a Seth here. Now I could get burnt out by a Zenith Flare, but a lifelink on Deafening Clarion could help us there too. So we'll see. If I block a Rescuer, then how many Cyclers would it be in the graveyard? Enough for Zenith Flare to finish off Drunkoseth, so I probably wouldn't want to block unless it would mean the Zenith Flare kills me. But yeah, this Deafening Clarion is shaping up to be very important. Foundry untapped. So even if I block and if go for blood, it wouldn't be enough to kill Drunkoseth. So I guess I'll take my uh, 5 A damage and if they cycle twice I'm still not dead. Alright, so definitely need to Clarion and then hope that we don't die on the way back. Now I'm probably still dead to a Zenith Flare here. Suppose I could have played Bastion first to gain one life since we would end up killing the token to my own uh, Clarion. Don't know if that would have been better. We're at 13, there's 11 cycling cards in the graveyard, so one life could potentially matter. Um, I guess I'll play Bastion now. Could have also played Kalia, but if they don't kill Drakoseth, they die, so they could potentially Zenith Flare Dracoseth, and then we would gain one life from the Bastion trigger. We'll see. So now 13 cards in Graveyards. Has to play a Draneth Healer. So it's possible they were missing a land to Zenith Flares to death. But yeah, it's definitely possible I should have played Bastion before Clarion just for the one extra life, since if they did have a land there plus Zenith Flare, they could have killed us with Exaxes. On to the next one. 
All right, we're on the play with a pretty nice opening hand. Reunion can discard Bladewing and Dracoseth, and then we've got our rights in hand already. No white mana yet, but between the two reunions we're pretty likely to find it, and then I can discard the rights to Reunion to speed it up by a turn. So we actively want to discard rights so we get a discount on it. Turn one Crib Breaker, so zombie deck. And there's my white mana. And there's Bastion, so I'm just one blade wing away from the infinite combo here, which is pretty exciting. Next turn I could supply our plus reunion. And then if we mill over another blade wing, I can wait to combo with blade wing. Otherwise, I could just reanimate Bladewing, get back Dracoseth. So let's see what this Stitcher Supplier brings to the table. Or to the graveyard. Alright, no Arisen, so... Yeah, let's just Reunion. And then we're probably gonna just end up getting back Bladewing and Dracoseth at the same time. Put on splashing green, not sure what for. Passes. Could see removal here, but still gonna go for it. I've got another Unburial Rites in hand anyway. Take action, and then I guess I could attack with Supplier. I guess they're playing the version with undergrowth creatures like Lothos Giant, so that explains the green, maybe with uh, Izoni in their deck too. Uh, I'll hold the Supplier back since I don't want to kill theirs. It's going to be a Murder Strider taking out Drunkoseth, makes sense. Could get it back next turn with the rights. Or I could play Kalia to find a second blade wing to set up the infinite combo, which is maybe a bit more exciting. Another Stitcher Supplier, Mills Liliana. Pretty good way of getting back a whole bunch of zombies from the graveyard. And Fiend Artisan. Good way to sacrifice a supplier to put more stuff in the graveyard. Well. I don't have a way of discarding more cards from my hand, so if I find Bladewing with Kalia, I will need to hardcast it for 7, which might end up being too slow. So let's say we do Kalia, find Bladewing, next turn I play Bastion, and the turn after I can just cast Bladewing and go off. So we're looking to kill the opponent in 2 turns from now. Instead if I get back Dracoseth and they don't kill it, I guess the Fiend Artisan is getting out of hand, not sure what they're gonna search up with it. Yeah, maybe it is a play here. Alright, there's Bladewing, perfect. And then probably just play this tapped and pass a turn. I'm not too interested in attacking with Bladewing. I will need to draw one more land for this to work in my next two draw steps. Uh, there's Liliana untouched by death. Takes out Kalia. That's fine. And I'll happily chump. Another Bladewing in the graveyard, and then I can just attack Liliana with my Bladewing. Seems fine. And there's land to set up the combo, so everything is in place. Just need to not die here.
So hopefully they tap out so they can't interact with the combo. They do have three mana up once again. Alright, so we'll start by attacking. That might prompt them to use a removal spell. Does not. Alright, let's go for it. I guess we just cast Blade Wing instead of casting the rights. But both will work. Get back Blade Wing. And yeah, combo assembled here. And our opponent scoops it up. Awesome. So we managed to assemble our infinite damage combo with the Blade Wing. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. We've got a pretty removal heavy hand, not a lot of combo pieces. So this could be fine against a more aggressive deck. Hmm, I don't think I can keep this with no draw effects, no dragons. Alright, this is better. And then I'll bottom one Kalia. Can discard a Blade Wing to the Thrill. I guess I maybe should have played Swamp there. Alright, in a graveyard, so starting to assemble multiple combo pieces. Need to find white mana to cast Kalia still. Facing mono reds. So as it turns out, the hand with a Deafening Clarion would have worked out, but... Drew the second Blade Wing, so all we're missing is a Bastion of Remembrance now. Fervent Champion. And another score spitter. Take one. That's a miss, one bastion on the bottom, so still three left near the top. Kalia probably gonna eat a removal spell. Now I could also just reanimate Blade Wing, but I don't think a 4-4 flyer is necessarily winning me the game. So we'll see. 10 3 dodge or attack with everyone. Could see a shock finish off Kalia after we block, so definitely don't want to block the first striker. So I guess we'll block like this. And yep, and there's a shock. No, we milled another Bastion. So there's only two left near the top now. Aligned with stage, finds Torbran. Uh-oh. Torbran's bad news, so I probably have to do something with the rights this turn. Could get back Kalia. Or I could get back Bladewing. I guess Blade Wing makes more sense. Although, probably still gonna lose long term. So this turn they're pretty much locked into a land plus Torbran. And then next turn we could see a removal spell killing Bladewing, although I guess I can pump it twice. It's just a Tensory Dodger attacking. Nope, everyone. Hmm. 
All right. Two cards left in hand. We're at five. So the window for Bastion probably closed now. Because if we drew Bastion right now, we could have played it next turn hardcast Bladewing and then combo off, but doesn't seem like that's happening anymore. Alright, they had a backup Torbrain, so we're just dead to them attacking with everyone. Spitter deals three with just a trigger. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. We've got a full house here. It's actually not that bad since right we don't mind discarding in the first place. And then the second thrill can maybe help me discard any big dragons I draw with the first thrill. Facing a blue-green ramp deck. Alright, so it's a mutate deck. Chaos Wrath should be pretty effective. And there's Bastion. So just need the Blade Wings now. Samples cries to the bottom. And a Paradise Roots. I could Cathartic Reunion discarding the two rights. Or I can just play Bastion. And then Chump set up the Kai's Wrath for the turn after. And once we Kai's Wrath, we'll buy ourselves a lot of time. So we can spend the following turn discarding and drawing with Reunion and Thrill, hopefully find some Blade Wings. Uh, the shark's gonna bounce the token. Discards an Andre's Forerunners. So we'll take seven. But then our opponent's going to be left with one card in hand. So probably going to start with Reunion discarding Dracoseth and another rights. And then probably Thrill discarding another rights. Kalia can also help us find Blade Wings, so we're definitely on track to combo our opponents. Could also just bring back Dracoseth right now, but going for the combo is more interesting. So I can Supplier, Kalia, and still Thrill. And if we get really lucky with Stitcher Supplier, we could win right now. We did not. Alright, there's all my Blade Wings. So I can discard one to the Thrill. Could also go Rides back Blade Wing and get back a Dracoseth with the trigger. Could have also just cast Blade Wing next turn. Not our Bastion, a Reunion, so I guess we'll attack first. And then play another Kalia. Hopefully finding Blade Wing. And then we can discard it to the Reunion. And there's Blade Wing, so next turn we've got the combo. Yeah, 
even have a backup bastion in case they uh, gem racer the one in play. And we'll keep up just a strike. Nah, opponent hasn't done much in the meantime. Although that's something. Back a bastion to make it a little faster. And then right blade wing. And we've got a loop here. Alright, sweet, and our opponent concedes. So this game also showing the importance of having a couple sweepers in the deck to delay the opponent's game plan, because we're not the fastest combo deck in existence, so we often need to delay the opponent's plan before we can pull off our infinite shenanigans. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.